one of the whole reasons I started this company was because I was a real estate agent for 12 years, right? I did Million Dollar Listing New York on Bravo for 10 years and all the spinoffs. And I went to every other real estate brokerage under the sun and said, I have a team of 65. We do a billion a year. This is 2017. I think I should switch firms. I don't know why. I just, I, it's that time. What are you going to do for me? And how do you see your support in 2030? I'm like, no one knew how to answer either of those questions. And so I really blame every other real estate brokerage for making me do this <laughs> because then I just I was forced to go and, and, and start this company and, and build things like simple, you know, and enable agents to buy all their time back and redefine the way that they work. And I think that also creates stickiness and helps us provide the product of helping people buy and sell homes at kind of mass scale in a way that other firms aren't able to. I've seen you on a million dollar listing. You really seem to love the the craft of selling and closing. Do you miss that? Do you miss kind of being on the ground and, and getting deals done and taking on more of a managerial and a CEO role? Yep. hundred percent. And how do you how do you balance that and how do you how do you make sure that, you know, you, you still have that in your life? I do a pretty bad job at it. It's one of my goals now, now that I turned forty last week, to to focus a bit more on the things that I'm really good at. It's hard when you're starting a company. You have to wear all the hats. I was the top selling broker, plus the CEO, plus the president, plus the COO, plus running finance, plus being the direct report for everybody. Like, you know, that's, but that's the job I signed up for. Um, and then I just complain about it all day long, you know, and lose sleep and stress out and work seven days a week. So we're at the point now where I'm able to say, okay, I am the best at sales. I think that's really important for brand, for culture, for revenue. I'm the best at leading. So I'll continue to do that as CEO. And then I brand and expand all day long. Everything else, I would probably say I'm not the absolute best at, and I don't have that domain expertise. 